this is Ramesh, physics teacher. Yeah. Now we are going to discuss about tenth standard physics, the basic physics. Yes, in this class we are going to discuss about the tenth standard physics. The chapter was electricity. Electricity. In this class, we I, I I need to give an introduction about electricity. What is the use of electric current? What is electric current? Okay, these uh, points are we are these points we are now going to discuss. Okay, what is electricity? Why this chapter is placed in the tenth physics? Is it important? Is it necessary? The chapter electricity is placed in the tenth uh, CBSE physics. Or state board physics, anything. Electricity is one of the main chapter. Why? What is the need? Without electricity, we can't lead our sophisticated or luxurious life. Yes. If we want to improve our technology, we need electricity. We want to live luxurious life, we need electricity. Electricity plays a most important or plays an essential role in schools. Industries everywhere, everywhere schools, industries, offices, everywhere electricity plays a vital role. So, all of us must know about the production of electricity. Okay, conversion of electrical energy, conversion of various en energies into electrical energy. What is the meaning of electric current? So, these are all important concept. For the tenth student, so you must know, you must know what is electricity, what is current means, how the current will be produced. We are saying, uh, without current, without current, we can't live. Uh, for example, ten minutes. For example, ten minutes. Without fan, oh, it is not comfortable. So sweating. We are uh, often used the word current but we don't know really the meaning of current okay that's why electricity is placed in our syllabus in our um, physics okay electricity <coughs> what is current what makes the current we all of us very well know about the term current but the real meaning the real definition of current is what before we are going to discuss about electric current just we are think about water current what is water current when the water flows when the water flows fastly in a river or anything or anywhere when the water flows that is called as water current likewise likewise when the charges are moving fastly when the charges are moving that produces electric current that is the definition for electric current that is the concept behind the electric current when the charges are moving it may be a positive or negative charges ah that doesn't matter but if the charges are moving that produces electric current if the charges are moving in a wire for example this is wire inside the wire lot of charges are there Okay, lot of because the wire is made up of atoms. The atom consists of both positive and negative charges. Inside the nucleus, positive charge. Outside the nucleus, inside the atom, electrons are revolving. We know very well. So positive and negative charges both are present inside the atom, but but electrons are revolving around the around the nucleus. It is present outside the nucleus, inside the atom. So the electrons are loo loosely attached with them. The electrons are loosely attached with the influence of the nucleus. So it can able to move. So we can easily move the electrons. So the electrons are moving inside the wire when, when we are applying the potential difference. If we are applying the proper potential difference, the electrons are moving. Here the electrons are negative charged particles. When the electrons are moving, the current will be produced. The rate of flow of charges is known as electric current. Somebody asked you, what is current? You please set the rate of flow of current is known as electric current. The rate of flow of charges is known as electric current. Because when the charges are moving, current will be produced. 
So what is the perfect definition? The perfect definition is flowing of electric charges in a particular area of cross section in a particular time, in a unit time. The flow of electric charges in a particular area of cross section in a unit time constitutes electric current. Okay, okay sir. The current will be produced in the wire only when the potential difference is applied. What, what sets the potential difference between the two wires, between the two ends of the wires? Okay, here I ask you one question. What is the component which, which sets the potential difference between the two ends of the wire? That component is nothing but that is known as battery, battery. Battery or cell, anything, two or more cells combine together to form a battery. So the battery work is, what is the work of battery? In a torch we used battery, we, we arranged the battery in a proper manner, proper manner. Then only the torch light will glow. So the battery, the need of the battery is, what is the use of the battery? It is, it sets the potential difference between the two ends of the electrical wire or any component. Then only the electrons are flowing inside the wire which constitutes electric current. Otherwise, otherwise if a wire is placed without giving connection with battery, the electrons are moving inside the wire but the direction is in random direction. This you are going to study in your future, that means in your higher classes, 11th, 12th physics. You are studying about the uh, behavior of these electric charges without connecting battery. Okay. So in this 10th level, just you know very well about what is electric current. Electric current is nothing but rate of flow of charges. When the charges flow with respect to time, only when a component that is called battery is connected with the wire. When the battery is connected, it sets a potential difference that means plus minus it sets a potential difference between the two ends of the wire so only the current passing the current will be producing because the, the charges are moving what is the direction of electric current the next question is what is the direction of electric current the direction of electric current is taken as the direction of flow of positive charges so here Sir, here only negative charges, that means electrons are flowing. But you are taking the direction of current as direction of positive charges. Why? One question is this. Why? Because when, when the phenomenon of electricity was introduced, when the phenomenon of electricity was observed at that time, at, the, at that time nobody known electrons are moving. They imagine Positive charges are moving, so only the current is produced in that time. So they are taking the convention of electric current as the direction of positive charges. So the direction of positive charges is taken as the direction of electric current conventionally we are taking. Okay, so the direction of current is here, that is I. The direction of current which is opposite to the direction of motion of electron, for example, uh, this is negative potential difference due to the negative potential difference negative charges are rippled and they are moving in the moving towards this direction here the electrons are moving towards this direction then the current is passing through the this passing through this direction that means clockwise direction here the direction of current is taken opposite to the direction of motion of electrons because electrons are negative charged particle we are taking the direction of current as the direction of positive charge particle. But here positive charges are not moving. Electric charge, negative electric charges, that is electrons are moving. So the direction of motion of electrons and the direction of current is opposite. Don't forget that is one of the basic factor. Okay. Okay. Here I said one example, the torch light example. Okay. When the, when the torch light is on, then only when the switch is on, then only the torch light will glow. When the switch is off, the torch light will not glow. What is the what is the need of switch here? The need of switch or key, the other name of switch is known as key. The need of switch or key is 
to making an electrical contact to making an electrical contact with two components in an electrical circuit in an electrical circuit if any part of the circuit is broken if any part of the circuit is broken then the current will not flow the current will flow only in the closed circuit only in the closed circuit so this is a closed circuit here the current will pass when you off the switch the circuit becomes open when the circuit becomes open the current will not pass through this so when we are when you are switch on the torch light the circuit is closed then only the current will flow and the torch light will glow so the need of key or switch is to make the circuit as closed here here this is what this is the key this is the key key is nothing but which is switch so switch is used to make the circuit becomes closed here this is battery the need of battery is to set potential difference this is the direction of current okay this is bulb when the key is closed the bulb will glow yes when the key is open the circuit is broken then the current will not flow through the circuit then the bulb will not glow okay okay what is circuit means what is circuit means the next question is what is circuit means the circuit is nothing but it is a path where the current flows the continuous path the continuous and closed path where the electric current can flow can able to flow is known as circuit so i i repeat one time the continuous and closed path where the current can able to flow is known as circuit if the circuit is broken then the path is not continuous then the current will not flow the component will not work okay remember this is one of the important factor okay okay good so the definition of electric current is the rate of flow of charges how we can represent in the form of equation in the form of equation the current i is equal to current i is equal to what current is indicated by the letter i so i is equal to the rate rate means according to physics rate is nothing but which is time or that is total charge moving in a particular area of cross section in unit time so the total charges are moving how how many number of charges are moving that is net charge total charge is always known as net charge so the net charge is how many number of totally how many number of charges are moving in a time t is known as which constitute electric current so the current the expression for electric current is i is equal to q by t where q is the charge t is the time period and i is the current which is produced in the circuit so i is equal to q by t which is simply known as rate of flow of charges rate of flow of charges or moving of charges with respect to time produces electric current so i is equal to q by t i is the representation for current what is the what is the unit of current the unit of electric current is ampere ampere which is the name of the scientist so i use the symbol which is capital a and the unit of charge is coulomb unit of time is second if we put one here then it becomes 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb in one second that means what when one coulomb of net charge flows through flows across any cross sectional area of conductor in one second then it produces one ampere of current which constitutes one ampere of current one second i tell you when one coulomb of net charge flowing through a flowing through across any cross sectional area of conductor in in a time period of one second which constitutes an electric current of 1 ampere that is the definition for 1 ampere how to measure this current what is the device used to measuring this current what current is flowing in the circuit this is is it 1 ampere or 2 ampere or 3 ampere with the help of one instrument one component we can measure we can measure the electric current that name of the component is ammeter that is the symbol of the ammeter 
that is the symbol of the ammeter plus minus so ammeter ammeter is an instrument used to measure the amount of current flowing in the electric circuit yes this is ammeter so in this in this electrical circuit in this circuit diagram i include battery bulb ammeter key four components and i i notify the direction of current also here the direction of current is plus to minus so positive charges are moving here imagine but really positive charges are moving the negative charges electrons are moving in this direction that is the truth that is the truth okay the unit of current is what ampere but in practice in practice there are smaller units also what are the smaller units of electric current that is micro ampere milli ampere what is micro ampere micro ampere is 10 to the power minus 6 ampere micro means 10 power minus 6 milli means 10 power minus 3 so these are smaller units of electric current the SNT of electric current is ampere but we can use this micro ampere and milli ampere in some situations if if very small amount of current is produced it cannot be denoted by ampere can be it can be denoted by micro ampere or milli ampere that is one thing okay what is one coulomb? What is one coulomb? One coulomb means it is a charge. It is a representation of charge. The charge of one electron is the charge of one electron is one electron charge is 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. That is a charge of a single electron. The charge of a single electron. Don't forget it is one of the most important thing. 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb is the charge of only one electron. Then, how many electrons will constitute one coulomb of charge? My question is, the charge of one electron is this much, this, okay. How many electrons, then how many electrons will constitute one coulomb of charge means, that is one number which is 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons. Here 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons. 6.25 into 10 power 18. That means after this decimal point, 18 digits will be present. So 6.25 into 10 power 18 is a very large quantity. This much of electrons constitute one coulomb of charge. So one coulomb is a big unit of charge. Okay. Okay, good. In this class. We discussed about the introduction of current, the introduction of the chapter electricity. What is current? What is the need of current? What is electric circuit? What is key? What is ammeter? What is battery? How the current flows through the electric circuit? How the current will be represented? I equal to Q by T. What is the unit of current? What is the practical unit of current? What is one coulomb of charge? What is the instrument to measure current? So a lot of things we discussed here. Okay, so in the next lecture, we are going further. Okay, keep on watching my channel. If you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. That's my request. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you.